children i am sunandini chegam school assistant bioscience in ghs burkam pahar and uh, in this video we shall see the circulatory system of heart that is how the blood transports through heart and uh, how the cardiac cycle occurs in detail and uh, that is transportation part 2 now watch in detail how blood flows through heart children now let us see how blood circulation occurs through heart let us know about the arteries and veins arteries are the blood vessels which originate from the heart and supply blood to various organs in the body they have thick walls the largest artery is aorta and the smallest is pulmonary artery all arteries carry oxygenated blood whereas the pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood the veins are the blood vessels which bring blood from all parts of the body to heart veins have relatively thin walls all veins carry deoxygenated blood except the pulmonary vein which carries oxygenated blood now deoxygenated blood is carried by veins and they are indicated by blue color for convenience and uh, uh, oxygenated blood is indicated by orange color for convenience here uh, when the heart start functioning let us see that the superior vena cava brings deoxygenated blood from upper part of the body that is from head and neck region the inferior vena cava brings deoxygenated blood from lower part of the body both of them pour superior vena cava and inferior vena cava opens into the right atrium the right atrium and right ventricle both are separated by a tricuspid valve and this tricuspid valve prevents the flow of blood from a right ventricle to atrium so it allows the flow of blood only from right atrium to right ventricle as the blood reaches the right ventricle the tricuspid valve closes now the blood is forced to enter into the pulmonary artery the pulmonary artery is guarded by pulmonary valve this pulmonary valve closes as the blood enters into the pulmonary artery from pulmonary artery blood enters into the lungs here we can see the blood entering into the right and left lungs by right pulmonary artery and left pulmonary artery branches and uh, from lungs the purified oxygenated blood enters into the uh, left atrium by pulmonary veins you can see the right and left that is divided branches of pulmonary veins entering into the left atrium and as the blood enters into the left atrium the left from the left atrium blood reaches the left ventricle when the blood enters the left ventricle the valve that is mitral valve present between the left atrium and left ventricle closes so it prevents the flow of blood from left ventricle into left atrium as it closes it forces the blood to enter into the main aorta the main aorta is guarded by the semilunar valves that is aortic valves from 
the aortic valves that is they open the blood enters into the aortic arch after the blood entering into the aortic arch the valves close and the blood passes from aortic arch to all parts of the body one contraction and one relaxation of atria and ventricles is called one cardiac cycle let us see the cardiac cycle blood from vena cava and pulmonary veins enters the right and left atria respectively now the atria contract forcing the blood to enter into the ventricles we when the ventricles are filled with blood they start contracting and atria start relaxing on ventricular contraction due to pressure the blood moves into the aorta and pulmonary artery the valves are closed forcibly we can listen to the sound of the heart lab when the ventricles start relaxing the pressure in the ventricles is reduced the blood which has entered the arteries tries to come back into the ventricles the valves which are present in the blood vessels are closed to prevent backward flow of blood into the ventricles we can listen to the dull sound of heart dub blood circulates two times through heart in human beings that is between the heart and lungs that is between pulmonary arteries lungs and pulmonary veins and heart one circulation takes place and it is called pulmonary circulation and between the superior vena cava and main aortic arch and heart another circulation of heart takes place and it is known as the systemic circulation thus blood moves two times through human heart or in mammals so it is called double circulation and uh, in case of fishes uh, if we see heart is two chambered one auricle and one ventricle and from the artery the impure blood reaches the gills there it gets purified and reaches the all parts of the body and from there impure blood is carried by veins to the ventricle thus blood is transported only one time through the heart so it is known as single circulation so children with this you have studied the cardiac cycle of heart and uh, the most asked questions are what is cardiac cycle write about single circulation and double circulation write about the internal structure of heart and external structure of heart write about the valves present in heart what is their importance what happens if the valves does not function properly so these questions may arise for one or two marks and the diagrammatic representation may also be asked for examinations uh, prepare well